it's me Pavitran here uh, this is a weekly analysis of crude oil just to recap of what had happened last week what are the levels which I mentioned and how the prices has been reacted to that so we will just discuss about that and just go into the futures one uh, maybe around uh, 30 mm, 30 minutes time frame I'll just said clearly that uh, based on the news I was expecting a big green candle um, I, uh, I was expecting a big green candle that will break 40 odd levels and it will try start to go higher somewhere around 41 or 42 because that was the actual positive news which everyone was hoping for as you can see this is the green candle but not to our expectations it was somewhat okay it opened on a positive note it tried to go up and it uh, successfully broke that uh, 40 dollar level mark after that um, as you can see it started to fall uh, i clearly mentioned that uh, whenever a 40 dollar mark gets broken it will be a mostly a kind of a bull trap i mentioned to that uh, on a weekly uh, the previous week or uh, video i mentioned it very clearly so same way happened i was expecting an at least a four hour candle to close above 40 dollar level and follow through breakout has to happen so that uh, we will be confirming the continuation of the trend but unfortunately that did not happen uh, if you can see everywhere there will be a week um, above 40 so on monday as you can see it went above came down again it went above it came down that was the last time you have seen that price crossed uh, maybe around 40 and it just fell off from there the, after that no turning back as you can see on uh, Tuesday or 9th uh, after the fall on Monday it tried to continue and once it had taken support at uh, $37 somewhere around 37 it tried to go up and it tried to form a bullish channel again it went near 40 then uh, started to fall come down very badly once it uh, breaks off 37.50 level you can see very clearly that what had happened so this is the range it was uh, trying uh, I even said on a daily maybe around Friday I said uh, once this low has been taken out the same low will be acting as a resistance so as you can see here price broke it came down heavily somewhere around 34 and it tried to go up and around 37 it again faced resistance and came down so these are the levels how it has been worked on um, maybe uh, what we can do is that uh, we have to focus on new levels which has formed on a week so I will just go through with this one on Monday what was the resistance level it has formed it was somewhere around 40 40 so you can just keep around uh, 40 point five zero as a resistant level that was the first one and as you can see from 5th of July it took resistance that was a small resistance it came down then Monday opening it broke and went off uh, after that you can able to see on this day exactly at 11th and 12 o'clock it rejected and it started initiate the rally from this place so this is the place where uh, coming on a coming weeks or a coming days if it tries to go up there this will act as a good uh, resistant region for time being uh, this is a small one uh, and you can see small small rejections and uh, small small supports so our major uh, thing is that we should concentrate on 40.40 as a resistant for time being and 39.50 and somewhere around uh, this one will act as a quite a strong support 37 region why because it is somewhere near to that opening price and uh, somewhere around uh, 34.50 good odd levels this uh, low has to break for a uh, bearishness to continue in the market so as you can check uh, these are the important uh, support and resistance which has been formed in this week mm, maybe around uh, weekly candle if you can check it clearly shows us that first sign of peer indication in the market this is a big red candle on a weekly basis as you can see the high was somewhere around 40.4042 and low somewhere around 34.44 so um, what is a clear indication for us is that for bearishness to continue 
the low of this uh, pre this week red candle has to be get broken on coming week uh, maybe a strong close of uh, 34 dollar on a four hour candle or on a daily time frame will strongly confirms the bearishness in the market once the it gets confirmed then it will start to go about uh, 30 odd levels 30 odd levels maybe around uh, where it is a good selling region will be you i don't uh, find any good selling region a strong uh, close below the 34 only will initiate a second round of sell off you can even try to go into a sell by wait for a retracement somewhere around 38 or even 39 if uh, if you are lucky enough a retracement will comes but uh, your stop loss will be somewhere around 40.40 that is the maximum stop loss you have to keep for a sell because this is a candle we are taking it as a reference for support and resistance for coming week um the candle high is somewhere around 40 or 50 40.50 dollar level will act as a uh, strong resistance so that is our stop loss maybe 10 cents above that mm, will be okay or if you want a perfect confirmation for a uh, sell to exit your sell position then you have to wait for four on a candle to close above 40.50 you usually this is the first round of sell off so we can't expect a immediate u turn and market will start to fall i'm not expecting that i'm expecting a small consolidation over here and after that on a break of 34 dollar range then market will start slowly coming down near 30 then it will go above 34 35 then again it will try to come down that is what i'm seeing uh, because it was a very good retracement rally for the fall which has happened somewhere around um, from the month of january so as you can see from january it had made a nice fall and this was a kind of a retracement rally to that and now uh, again the trend will continue towards the down downside that is what uh, it clearly indicates uh, if you are drawn a Fibonacci from January 1st till uh, uh, somewhere around this week low um, maybe around 20th April you will find somewhere around uh, a 50 or a 61.80 level as a resistance around 40 well, that clearly indicates as it's a kind of a retracement done on a golden ratio now that region will acting as a, a stiff resistance um we'll just go for a 30 minutes time and we'll explain in deep how, to, how you have to take trades um just wait for a monday opening it can open anywhere it can even give a big red candle just wait for a four hour candle to close below the 34 dollar mark which i have marked here once a four hour candle closed below 34 dollar level wait for a next candle to break that uh, high of the 34 candle close so that it will get you will get a follow through entry on that and you can just ride it with a stop loss of uh, previous week high as stop loss 40.45 then as usual you have to trail based on a daily time frame if you are looking for a retracement rally then just wait for a market right now it is trying to form a little uh, bullish channel as you can see here this is a small bullish channel it's trying to form so uh, either this channel has to get broken and it has to form a bearish one so that you can enter on uh, top of the retracement these are the two options you have if you are an aggressive seller you can just go in and you can short and you can play stop loss at 40.45 if you are a safe uh, trader you just for wait for a retracement to continue for this maybe around till monday or tuesday it will go somewhere around 38 or uh, even 39.50 is possible and then you can just uh, take your entry somewhere around this region 38 to 39 by placing a stop loss above 40.50 that seems legitimate for me 
since i am an intraday player uh, i can't able to exactly pinpoint the entries of weeklies because uh, major events uh, are in play so you have to mm, keep that into consideration before entering into an a positional trade and uh, once you are in a positional trade i suggest you to hedge the position um because of overnight uh, news or overnight tweet from one of the important leaders will just move the market in an instant so you can't be doing hope trading on that i strongly advise you to do and hedge trading if you are going to take an overnight position so what are the levels you should be concentrating on is a 34 dollar level close 34 dollar level close will strongly start a second round of sell off in crude oil and uh, what are the important risk you should be focusing on is that um, that, that is acting as a quite a stiff resistance for now see here it had took support and here it had took support and see the rally it had gave both times it gave a good rally so this is the region you should be watching on and after that what is the region you should be watching out for is uh, 3950 so two regions uh, 37 3950 and third one is final region is uh, 40.50 if uh, close above 40.50 it comes then wait uh, don't go blindly into the trade we will uh, uh, analyze for the next coming week and for the weekend able to decide uh, i can't able to say once it close to 40.50 it will shoot up uh, i can't able to say whether uh, it has a capacity to go higher above that whatever uh, i feel is that uh, whenever the market tries to go above 40 it will be kind of a bull trap uh, i don't know how many people have been caught up here though many of the people who have bought here and uh, many of the positions are still in danger see this is the bottom made somewhere around 35 oh, 5 dollar rally has been god i don't know hindus how many people have averaged and uh, how many people have lost money so that is the main reason i am kindly asking you to wait for a close or a four hour candle on uh, important levels that close uh, will give some kind of confirmation for us to trade once that close candle breaks the high on the pre next candle that's a kind of a follow through uh, that clearly indicates us that uh, buyers are still in the market this one is a clear bull trap it closed above 40 and next there was no follow through and many people got stuck and market fell from there so on uh, upside if even if it closed above 40.50 i strongly advise you to wait and take the trade out there on uh, lower side if uh, 34.20 or even if 34 gets closed on a 4 hour wait for a follow through candle um, breaking the low of that 4 uh, candle close uh, you can able to get a confirmation that okay sellers are still in the market it will be very helpful for you Uh, these are the levels you should be concentrating much more on and uh, this week uh, i am expecting some kind of retracement on upside then market uh, can uh, fall from there even if it is not falling to my expectation it will be kind of a sell on rise market so just try to focus on that if any good news uh, or if mm, kind of a tweet or uh, investors pouring money then we will come to know about that scenarios and we can change the views based on that so till then trade with the stop loss and trade with the levels which i have mentioned once you have taken an entry below 35 if everything went well what is the target you should be looking out for is uh, 30 and uh, 28.5 30 is again a psychological level and 28.5 is the previous uh, uh, support level so you should be concentrating on the level these uh, 31.10 32.20 or uh, levels which have been marked for 30 minutes uh, that won't be useful for you guys and you should be concentrating only on uh, bigger levels uh, which has been the triggering the origin of the rally um, as you can see uh, this is the place where the origin of the rally has happened so this will act as an uh, quite a strong support even this one has a capacity to act as a quite a strong support 
as you can see here that is the main reason i'm saying that i need a strong close below 34 dollar see this is a close this is uh, this has acted as resistant from here it had pushed the market down once again it goes near the 34 it pushed the market down once it breaks off it uh, kind of a retest and then see how it got shooted up till 38 so uh, 34 dollar levels has some kind of uh, uh, good buying orders uh, pending in that region so whenever market tries to come near that it will try to push up the market further so a four hour candle close below that will confirm a uh, seller or dominant and the next candle which breaks that four hour candle low will again confirm double confirmations that sellers are strongly in the market you can go and take trade over there uh, that's it for me on analysis and uh, my view is clearly uh, i will be on a sell on rise um, i strongly advise you to follow the same way uh, take confirmation before entering trade and uh, do with the hedges thank you